Hi, my name is Jake Kurth. I'm with Leeds Forensic Systems. Today's quick video tutorial is going to be going over the components of the LCF3 CMOS5 HDR camera kit and how to assemble all the components. Leeds has a different video which shows how to attach the camera to your comparison microscope. Okay, so the first thing to do is just go through and make sure you have all the parts of your new camera. You have the new camera, which is here. I'm going to make sure you have the C-mount camera adapter. Uh, Leeds, as part of our quality control, has spent time parfocaling this camera to this adapter. You'll notice there are some set screws. Yeah, there's two set screws around the side of the C-mount adapter. We've locked those in. Please don't adjust them. Um, you'll also have your USB 3.0 cable that runs from the camera to the StarTech powered USB 3.0 hub. Now, the reason we supply this camera with this cable and this hub is because this camera pulls power through the USB cable. And some computers don't have enough uh, power moving through their USB ports to provide enough juice for the camera. So that's why we have this hub. Um, and then, of course, you'll have the cable that then runs from the hub to your computer. And then you've got your power, power supply for that hub. So how do you assemble it? Well, first thing to do is just attach your C-mount adapter to your camera. Um, I recommend a, uh, attaching it this way. It's just a simple threaded mount. Screws in. Okay, that's good. Uh, next thing to do is to attach the USB cable to the camera. Um, you'll notice it's got a kind of different looking USB attachment cable. It's got two thumb screws on the side too. So you just plug it in. And it can only plug in one way. So if it's not going in, flip it. Um, don't force it. Okay. Your next step is to attach your six foot USB cable to your StarTech powered supply hub. You'll notice there are some labeled ports on the side, one through four, and they're blue. You can plug in to any one of these ports. Next thing we're gonna do is then plug the USB cable that came with the StarTech powered hub to your computer. And you'll notice there's again a USB, this is what's called USB B, I believe, and that connects directly to the only part, part you can plug it into on the StarTech hub. This part of the cable you plug into your computer. Uh, a quick note, this whole setup is USB 3.0, so it needs to plug into a USB 3.0 uh, port on your computer. USB 3.0 is labeled. Uh, um, oftentimes it'll have blue, uh, with on, on the USB component itself, but other times it'll be labeled just with an SS. It'll be the USB icon with an SS. You just plug into that. Okay, your last step is to power the whole thing up. And so you've got your power supply that came with your StarTech hub, and you plug that into your power source. And now you're good to go. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us.